Wizard of Oz story uh, that most people are familiar with from the movie starring Judy Garland, but is uh, adapted and changed for a different style of performance. Uh, the Wiz is um, uh, the Wizard of Oz. Same story, same concept, just a little jazzy, different taste of music. to do something that was going to be very family friendly, something that was going to be very upbeat, something very optimistic and fun to work on. The Wiz, as it was written in the mid-70s, is traditionally done by an African American cast. Um, we, are, we are expanding on that message of inclusion for all by doing The Wiz with uh, a primarily Caucasian cast. I think that our production of The Wiz is going to blend elements of the 1975 production and the 2015 NBC production uh, and kind of create something that's the best of both worlds. I am a lot of characters, but the one I'm most proud of is my Munchkin character. I'm the Scarecrow. I scare folks. When I pick a show, I want to pick something that's going to challenge my students as well as give them something to be excited about, and I want something that I think our audiences will enjoy, and I want something that I'm not going to get bored of directing for about three months. There's a lot of good songs, and we have an amazing cast. It's going pretty good. Everybody's like really starting to nail their songs and like choreography. I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be really good, you know? We have a great cast. We've got Sarah Petition as Dorothy. Uh, we have Zach Ramos as the Scarecrow, Josh Tremblay as the Tin Man, and Matt Zinderman as the Lion. We also have Aaron Gatos, who is a senior, playing Eveline, which is the equivalent of the Wicked Witch of the West role in this show. The Ways opens on Thursday, March 23rd, and it runs March 23rd, 24th, 25th, and then the following weekend, March 31st and April 1st.